So here I'm gonna make a folded hand fan, like the one here, with um, one sheet of paper. So this kind of fan is a folded fan and there's a history in Japan and China for these kinds of fans. In Japan, they would make really elaborate paintings on the fans and it's usually a symbol of wealth or um, power. So here I have my sheet of paper. I'm using a just scrap piece of paper that I have like a permission form on or something. Unlike the other origami, it's actually good if you have thicker paper, but I'm gonna use thin paper for this one. So because traditionally these fans are decorated, I want to decorate mine. I'm going to do this by using markers. You can use crayons, you can use colored pencils, you can use whatever you want. But I'm going to do this in a specific way. So first, I'm going to take my marker and I'll just do a pattern. I'm going to do some dots. Okay, see I have some dots across. What I'm going to do now is flip it over to the other side and do the same thing. I want my pattern to repeat on both ends of the paper. And the paper needs to be in this vertical or portrait way. There, I have that. Okay, I'm gonna continue coloring and then I'll, I'll get my pattern done. Okay, I have finished my patterns. I have different kinds of lines and shapes and colors. So this is my fan pattern. The next thing I'm going to do is fold. So to fold, you will need to, well, first I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna fold one edge a little bit, maybe about half inch to an inch. So I'll fold it and crease it, and then I'll push really hard here to crease the bottom. Now I'm gonna flip it over again, take the same side fold, crease it about a half an inch. I'm gonna keep doing that, flipping it, and then folding this bottom edge. Flipping it and folding it. Okay, what I have now is this kind of accordion looking fold. So with this zigzag, I'm going to pinch the middle. Now it kind of looks like a bow and fold it or bend it in half. Now you can see why I made the pattern the same on both sides. When you fold it together, it becomes one pattern here. So I'm gonna fold it and kind of pinch it together. Oops, it's not quite in the middle, so I'll fix that. Okay, so I have my fan. The next helpful part, you can keep it like this, but the next helpful part is going to be using a stapler and some tape if you have it. So on this bottom part here, I'm just gonna take my stapler and make a nice staple to keep it together. You don't have to do that, but I, I like to. You can either take, you can take some tape too if you want and you can wrap the bottom. The staple is kind of pokey, so just tape the bottom. And I still have this split here, so I'm gonna take a piece of tape and actually just um, tape a little bit of this together in the middle. Just tape two of these, that looks good. 
So now I have this nice little fan and it's all done. It's got a nice pattern and everything. Now you can wave yourself off on a hot day. <laughs>